Today we're going to talk about how to work around having a reader instead of Acrobat. Um, and the specific feature of that we're going to talk about is how to extract pages from a PDF. Um, a lot of people get a PDF, let's say it's 20 pages, the one you're seeing in front of you is 128, but let's say out of those 20 pages, it's actually three different files that's lumped together. Um, well, if you have Adobe Acrobat, you can very easily, you would go up to document and you would choose the option to extract pages. Um, this isn't an option in Reader and I have yet to find a good option um, as an alternate workaround. OpenOffice 3 has a, a import PDF option to where you can kind of do this, but a real quick workaround is to go to print within Reader. If you've already seen my do PDF uh, tutorial, um, if not, I recommend going there and then coming back to this program or to this tutorial. Um, and instead of uh, having to extract pages, we're simply going to print the range of pages. You do need to know the pages that you want to print, but as you print them, you're going to be creating separate PDFs, and when you're done, you can delete the master PDF file or save it as a backup. Um, so in this case, if I wanted to print pages to, and I do through with a dash through eight. So I'm going to make sure I have do PDF. I'm going to make sure I have my settings I want, and then I'm going to hit OK. As it prepares, it's going to ask me how I want to name it. I'm going to put, I'm just going to put underscore pages here. Hit okay. So now, as you can see, up here at the very top, you'll see my new file name, and you'll see this document's only seven pages, which is the pages I selected from the previous, so two through eight. So one through seven, you'll see here, and I'll actually give you a little better view here. And it's in print format. Now you will notice that the original has a little better quality to it. Um, so when you're printing your pages, you want to make sure and go ahead and select the properties um, that you're wanting for your resolution especially. Um, so I could go up to let's you know show you the difference in 600 DPI. It will make a bigger file. Do be prepared for that. So I'm gonna say okay. And I'm not gonna shrink to printable area. I'm gonna say fit. I don't want it to shrink. I want it to stay the same size. I'm gonna say fit again. I'm gonna go pages two through eight. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm just going to do underscore pages 2. I don't want to overwrite my other file. I want to show you the difference. I'm going to take just a moment here. And now you can see that this one is much more legible, uh, better than the other one here. We'll go to the first pages. You see how it's smaller? harder to read, then this one is much closer to the original which you're seeing now. Um, so original, export it. And you can do this and it allows you to essentially take a larger file and make it into smaller files, especially if you need them for separate purposes, whether you're uploading it to a server for work, whether you're you know, whether it's a help document, you want to save it into easier to browse chapters instead of having to reference it and the bookmarks aren't there. Um, anyway, I hope this has helped. You know, if I went too fast on anything, please feel free to go back through this tutorial and play as many times as needed or send us a request for additional information if anything wasn't clear. Thank you and hope it helped.